What's going on guys, it's Game here, back again with another video, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And we're gonna go ahead and jump into the into this Dragon Ball Super review. And uh basically this this episode uh, for Dragon Ball Super is a continuation of the last episode, which was I believe episode 75. So this episode the episode we're doing today is episode 76. Um uh, but basically all it is, like I said, is just a continuation of last episode, which is episode 75. And basically all that happens is, is that Krillin is experiencing... Goku and Krillin, actually, excuse me. Um, basically those two are in like this forest that uh, Fortune Seller Baba created. And there are these like, uh, beings that are, that are like imagined up because of Goku and Krillin. And basically these beings are the old... The people they have fought before in the past up from uh up from tambourine from dragon ball up to like frieza from uh from resurrection f if that's what you know but frieza from the frieza uh namek saga and stuff like that just like like super boo cell just all of them you know even demon king piccolo just pretty much everybody that they fought before in the past who was considered a bad guy of course and then basically this entire time uh, they're trying to defeat these. Uh, they're trying to defeat these guys because they know that it's an illusion and it's just like this whole thing or whatever, right? But uh, Krillin couldn't get past the fact that you know he was he was having this some sort some sort of fear of just basically what what he had to go through in the past with like Frieza, for example. Frieza literally blew him the fuck up, you know, literally blew him the fuck up. Tambourine was the first person ever. To kill Krillin, so it was really just a whole like mess of emotions for Krillin because he had he had basically this mindset of what he had to go through in the past, and he's basically just like scared and he can't move forward and keep his mind calm, so that way he can basically just move on and become uh, a more stronger of a fighter. And so uh, this whole time, you know, it's kind of obvious that Goku is having like it's just enjoying getting stronger and stuff like that and he's not really afraid of anything whilst krillin is basically scared of everything in his mind and his mindset about everything is just in a whole different fucking world and he just can't get his mind straight but uh this whole thing to make the, the to make them stop appearing because uh they keep reappearing every single time they uh they basically uh get rid of the illusions or, or however you want to call them Basically, they decided to keep calm with their mind and relax and chill the fuck out and hold back, basically, uh, their power. And Goku finds that out uh, really quickly throughout the episode. And Krillin, he's, you know, he's struggling because he's scared and he doesn't know what to do. And so we get to see the Flying Nimbus again, which I thought was a really interesting uh, idea to bring back the Flying Nimbus. Because we basically haven't seen that since the beginning of Z. If you, if you guys remember, in the beginning of Dragon Ball Z... Uh, Goku was still uh, riding around with the flying Nimbus, but then after he had died uh, initially and uh, was went, was sent back to uh, excuse me, uh, and then basically after he died and was resurre resurrected back, and he was using the flying Nimbus to get to where uh, Vegeta and Nappa were, and they were fighting you know uh, Tian Shin Han, uh, Chao Tzu and stuff like them, people like them, uh, Krillin too, he was there. Uh, he, that was the only last. That was the last time we basically saw the flying Nimbus, and after that, we haven't seen him. Uh, well, actually, no. We did see him in basically a filler arc of Gohan going to school, but other than that, that's that's basically the last time we've seen the flying Nimbus. So it was kind of nice seeing the flying Nimbus and Dragon Ball Super and stuff like that. But uh, we continue on with the episode, and Krillin, you know, he's freaking out. He doesn't know what to do. He's scared. Uh, he's doing this and that, whatever. And then he finally realizes that if he wants to make this all go away and stop, he has to calm his mind and relax and chill the fuck out. And so that's what he does. And then something that really surprised me was that he he got... I guess this is just some sort of transformation for uh, for Krillin because he, start, he started having this, uh, this white aura kind of like glow around him and it's and he kind of got like a power boost 
Now my question is, is how big of uh, how big of a power boost this actually is. Uh, I would imagine it's nowhere near god level, of course not, because uh, Krillin, after all, is still only uh, a human and not a Saiyan. But you know, uh, we, I kind of, I'm kind of curious to how big of a difference his power level, uh, uh, his power level is now with, uh, I guess, this new transformation for Krillin. Uh, I wonder how just big of a difference his power level is with it. But that's that's he does, that's neither, neither here uh, or more to there or whatever. Doesn't really make that much of a difference. Uh, but no, and then. Uh, what miraculously, for whatever reason, Baba was was somehow able to uh, conjure up an illusion for uh, uh, Super Shenron, and Super Shenron is obviously uh, the, the the dragon for the Super Dragon Balls, of course. Um, but yeah, that's basically just kind of the end of the episode. And in the last episode, Master Roshi actually told him to go and get this herb, Goku and Krillin. He told him to go and get go out and get this, this herb. And then that's what they did after uh, destroying the illusion of this, uh, Super Shenron. And that, that's basically the end of the episode. And Krillin decides that uh, he wants to become a martial artist again and become stronger. And uh, what I thought was really cool was at the end of the episode when he went back to, to his house, his home, with uh, Android 18 and Marin, was the fact that we uh, got to see bald Krillin again. Because we haven't seen we haven't seen bald Krillin since the Resurrection F saga, so I thought that was really cool, and I guess that's what we're going to be seeing from Krillin from now on. Basically, him being bald again, just like just like the good old days of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. So that's going to be cool. And now we're going to go ahead and skip on over to the next episode of previews. Now I shouldn't have to say this, but uh, spoiler alert: if you guys don't want to see next episode uh or you guys who don't want to hear anything from the next episode of dragon ball super uh feel free to click off or, uh, right now but uh if you do decide to do that uh be sure to drop a like on the video and uh subscribe to your brand new channel stuff like that but anyways we're gonna go ahead and sk uh, skip over to the next episode previews and something that really only interests interests me the most is the fact that uh, Bulma is pregnant again Bulma is pregnant again she's gonna have another child and if you guys watch uh, GT, you already know that uh, not only Trunks exists as uh, as a as a child for Bulma and Vegeta, but they also had uh, another child, a daughter named Bra. So that means Bra is going to be uh, a character for Dragon Ball Super. But that that was kind of obvious anyway, so that it doesn't that didn't really surprise me, but. Uh, you know, that's, that's kind of interesting, I feel like. But not only that, but we're also going to see uh, Android 17. He kind of shows up for a brief uh, second or uh, for like a split, a split of a frame. But we do see Android 17, so I guess Android 17 is finally going to come back to Dragon Ball Super. Which is kind of obvious because from uh, a couple of images that I've seen uh, all over YouTube and Twitter and stuff like that. Uh, there was this, uh, this screenshot... Uh, for the next uh, for the next saga or the next arc for Dragon Ball Super, which is the Universal Survival Tournament and Android 17 was there So it looks like the next episode we're gonna see Android 17 But not only that Goku's gonna go ahead and, do and talk to uh, the, the king of all or Zeno uh, And basically just say that can you go ahead and start up the Universal Survival Tournament because Goku is ready And he wants to go ahead and start this up so it looks like we're getting closer and closer to the next, the next arc, and I'm re I'm very very excited for it. My, I feel like my channel might uh, grow a little bit more with this next arc, so that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be amazing. We're gonna see some new people on the channel, and I'm really excited for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and end up the video here now. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, and if you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel uh, for future videos like this. And, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just end up the video, like I said. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.